So this is the second version of the similar effect that I have created and it is 10 times better. So let's see how easily you guys also can replicate the same. So there will be three major steps involved. First, making the object outline aura. Second, aura flames, aura aura. And lastly, compositing for a final polish. So let's begin with our first step of making the outline aura. For this tutorial, I am gonna use this sword. If you want the same sword, link to download is in the description. So first, select our sword and split the view from here, then change it to geometry node. Then click here on new. What we have to do is create a duplicate of our sword so that we can make that into outlined aura for that just use two nodes first is join geometry and second is set position connecting them in this way will create a duplicate which can be offset using this position node right here now the real thing we want is to offset it's all of faces using this normal node right now it's way too powerful so let's use a vector math node and set it to scale and reduce this value to 0 0.02 would give us this. So all the faces go less outward like this so that we can create a thick outline if we look at using an x-ray. You might be thinking if we just apply a material now and set it to emission material and in the geo node you set material node to select the material like this then we are done. That's not true for this effect to work properly you have to add flip faces before the set material then head to the setting of the material and check this camera in the back face calling and boom it's done also if you are using cycles then you will have to adjust the material like this so you can use back face calling now before we go to step 2, we can modify this outline aura even further. For that we can again gonna use the set position node after the set material node and in the offset I will connect a noise texture. Right now it's way too powerful. To reduce its effect I will again use the scale node and set it to 0.2. Make sure to uncheck the normalize. Now it looks bad but wait to get more out of it we can change it to 4D and then set the w value to hashtag frame divided by 24 so the first part hashtag frame will help us change the value throughout the animation but the problem would be that the values will be very very high and that will make the animation very brutal so to slow it down we use the second part which is divided by 24 the higher the value will be the slower the animation will be you can do lots of stuff with this like increase the scale and subdivide the mesh mess around with it guys and get a good result now let's move towards second step of making the aura flames for this we will take a plane and this is not going to become the aura by itself so let's select it again head to geo node and click on new one let's name this as asura flames in the outliner so let's get rid of this plane by deleting this group input and bring our sword from the outliner start with we will spawn some points using this distribute points on faces of course later we will convert them to aura so set it to poison disc and density max to 20 but they look like they are in the air because 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 you have to set the object to relative and here you go after that we will make them move using this simulation setup this is really easy don't get afraid to bring them inside the simulation we'll use a joint geometry node like this and connect it in between so that we can bring them inside here we will use set position to make them move and also use the store named attribute and named attribute node set like this the attribute we are going to create is speed after that make sure to copy the same text which is speed to the other two nodes as well and if we connect them in this manner the values are gonna repeat itself so it repeats whatever value we put right in between here so for example i will use a vector math node and set the z value to 0.2 zero one and you will see it moving but it is a little weird because we have to set those two to vector because we want to move them in a 3d space so right now it's going way too fast so we can just use a scale node again and set it to 0 0.1 and this would really work now we are missing an element of waves in these for that add a math node just ahead and connect noise texture with a scale node 
so the setting will be uncheck the normalize first of all then set the scale to 5 for the noise texture and for this one i'll set it to 0.01 and we have this kind of result one more very crucial step right here is to get the same effect by changing it to 4d and setting a value of hashtag frame divided by 24 but this time i'm going to make it divided by 244 that should give us this kind of result it will feel more like it's really wavy now the next step is not necessary but i would like them to go out from the normal direction of our sword for that we will first store the normal data right at the beginning and using a store named attribute and connecting a normal node to it and setting it to vector of course because the normal is in vector value and like this now just go ahead after this noise scale node we add a vector math node set it to add then use a named attribute typing the normal value we used earlier and connect it and boom it's plastic so let's again use the scale node dial it down to 0.01 and we are done right now there are too much insects flying around so i want them to only come from the edge of the sword so for that let's select all the faces at the edge soloing our sword and also disabling the outline or a modifier so we can work clearly disable everything that is also make sure you are using a wireframe mode to selecting all of them so that you will also select the back faces the shortcut key is pressing the z value and switch to here after selecting all of the faces head to the object data properties and click on this plus icon and we get this new group created we will assign the faces now we can just use this inside geo node specially for the distribute points node so let's use a named attribute and inside it we have the same group that we created outside so select it and connect it to the density factor and now it's working now that we have reduced the insects quite a lot there's another fix that it needs they are surviving for too long to fix that we will create a deleting system using the same store named attribute named attribute instead of the set position we will use a delete geo node this time and connecting them like this and then type age in all of them this time we only need the float value now between this if we add a method and setting the value to one then what it will do is automatically add value of one to every point on every frame so it will give it a age so its age will be hundred at the hundredth frame using that when we add a compare node set to greater than with this we will tell blender hey delete any point who has aged for over 100 frame and now they are not surviving for very long now it's time to replace this point with a mesh so we can apply texture on it for that let's use an instance on point node and for the instances we'll connect a ecosphere node and now that's a really massive bullshit so let's dial the radius down to around 0.02 and this looks better first i want them to face the direction they are going towards so let's me show you directly what i mean for that we can use our speed data that we created with the named attribute and connect it to the align rotation to vector setting it to z value after that connect it to the rotation something changed but what we cannot see right now so if we scale them on the z value you will see them scaling up the direction they are going towards and that's what we exactly wanted the speed data has switched up its z direction towards where it is going and after that i can just basically change the scale of x and y to 0.25 and for the z i'll change it to 1.5 so these values are like pre-recorded because they are gonna give the perfect result after using the compositor final magic i know it looks really ugly but just wait a little so first go to the material and click on this plus icon and create a new material and i will name this to purple make sure to apply it inside the geometry node as well using a set material and selecting the same material also you can use a set shade smooth node so that you can smoothen out these harsh edges now i will make this one an emission one and set the color to purple and lastly set the strength to four now comes the really crucial part where everything will change with the magic for that let's head to the compositor divide this area 
and utilize the power of compositor let's switch to the render view which we are already in and go here and make composite switch to always with this you will always be able to see the changes you are making in the compositor in the composite click on the use nodes then click on this icon to get a single frame render we are gonna need that let's start working on it so first let's use a clear node setting it to fog glow and set it to high precision and change the size to 9 and just after that use a kohara node with this everything will be perfected but we are not done yet first set it to high precision and change the size to 7 or 8 whatever you would like and after that let's head back to the outline aura because it doesn't match with the aura flames so let's go back to its material give it the same purple color and set the strength to the same which will be 4 and now everything is really perfect with this working i can make duplicate of this aura make some changes on it but i will first i will make sure that this geo node is not being shared with the other objects by clicking on this icon after that i will apply a black type of material on it and then change around with the settings to get this kind of result you can always mess around with the settings to get different better or even ultimate results but this is not the finish yet there is still more and that will be in my next video Ta -da, bye bye after using the compositor there is a really important problem with this result that is you haven't subscribed to my channel yet i'm seeing what you are doing huh we actually do have a problem with this process that is we have lost all the details of our sword as you can see to restore them we can do this following setup first of all what i'm going to do is change to the view layers and make sure to enable objects for crypto mat then move them up and here i will use a crypto mat just connect the 0, 0 to this one and for the mat id i'll click on this plus icon it will let me select the object so i will select the sword with this we'll get the mat if we visualize what we are getting we are getting a mat which is an alpha channel where will this sword will be all white so using this we can tell blender don't affect this area too much so how are we doing that we are gonna use a mix color node for that we want the stylized type we created in the image one and we want our original in the image too and to use the mat we'll connect the mat to the factor and finally connect this to the output and we have our original details of sword back isn't that amazing and if you would like to have more better result you can even affect the original image as well so i will apply a clear on the original as well like that and you can apply the kohara on that as well and reduce down the effect of how much you want to affect so that you can preserve those details and still have that kind of effect on it now even after all this your result doesn't look good then head to my comrade page and grab this whole blend file for free link is in the description so that's all for today my best friends who didn't subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys and i will see you in the next one